Welcome back YouTube. Thanks for coming in and checking out another Fat Guy Builds. Today, I'm cranky. I didn't want to make this video right now, but we have a wildfire probably, something, and Comcast isn't working. I was watching the new Mortal Kombat. Now it's not working. Halfway through the movie, and it's actually a good movie. I don't understand, but let's do the oil cooler for my Focus ST. Part number is... MMOC-FOST-13. We have two of these fittings. They're identical. Even though it has a washer, I'm still going to put some right stuff on the some on the threads just so I don't have any seeping, any anything. So, going to do that. This piece here will end up going in the center here like so but uh first let's get these things mounted here are the contents of the box you have two heat shield setups two hoses hardware sandwich plate adapter with fittings two pieces of bracket and the oil cooler itself first thing i did was I took off all the skid plate stuff and I took off the intake pipe to the throttle body. And you might be asking why I did this. It's because I'm going to be modding the factory cooler. Since we're running an oil cooler, we don't want the um, two cooling systems touching each other. So the radiator will be disconnected. These two hoses will be um, cut and put together with a splice. That way it bypasses this and then the oil cooler will just cool the oil. The radiator uh, setup will only cool the coolant and not touch the oil. In order to do this, you spin this little knob here. Coolant will come out of here because I don't wanna cut those hoses over here with the system full of coolant. So I'm just going to drain it. We need to pull the oil filter off. So if it's about time for you to do a uh, oil change, you might as well just do it now. But I just did my oil change. And uh, so I'm just going to put a new filter because I damaged it trying to get it loose. Um, but yeah, so get this off and let the oil totally stop draining. It's time to put this bracket onto the cooler like this but instead of using this hardware I'm going to do something different so I already drilled these holes out a little bit and I'm going to put in nut certs and so what I do is because the bolts are going to come from under with the um, through the cooler so you put this through and you pull the trigger and it crimps it. So this is what it looks like after you crimp it. So now there's threads and I'm gonna do this three more times, finish this up. And then I'm gonna use these M6s with some Loctite and I'm gonna screw it to the cooler. And there we have it, Loctite nut certs all tightened up and i think that looks a little nicer than this hardware here remove the two headlight t30 torx bits pull this up a little wiggle the headlight forward it will unclip then push the clip on the headlight and use a flathead to help you just get leverage to pull the connector off. Remove this T30 Torx bit on both sides of the bumper. Pop these clips off here, here, and there. Pull up on the hood latch here. I need a flathead. 
pull this out of the little groove. Then you can swing this around and this will come out of this little groove here. Go ahead and take the front wheels off to give better access to the bumper. Take the wheels off. Then we're going to go in. We need to get back in here. So you're going to take out these Torx bits here. They're the same as the ones you use above, T30. You got, so you're going to have one, two, three, four, five. You only need to take these out to help you bend this liner out of your way. We're in the fender. So you're going to you see these two white clips. These two white clips have a 10 millimeter underneath. So it's hard to see. But in those little pockets, there's a 10 millimeter that threads into these white ones. Take those out, and then you'll have a clip of some sort right here on the edge. Uh, my clips are different because I think mine got messed up. Um, but whatever your clips are, just take the clips out. Now, you just pull. Well, mine's a little loose, so it came right away. But you might have to tug on this a little bit to get it to come out of... This little, this little plastic thing should be locked in like this, so you're going to have to pull a little bit to unclip it from like this little tab and stuff. So uh, you're going to pull it loose on both sides, like that, like so. On the driver's side, you're going to unplug this harness here, which gives power to the fog lights. In the middle of the headlight area, there are these little clips and these. So what you're gonna do is lift this up and pull the bumper and it'll come out. And these are the only two things holding the bumper in. As you can see, it's like about to fall off. So then do it on this side too. And then set the bumper off to the side. Depending on your setup, right? You uh, might have the factory louver system in place, um, whatever. I don't have the factory louvers because I have the bigger intercooler. Um, but anyways, this core is going to mount. So it's more or less going to fit like this. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and mock up and... Uh, mount the top two screws i love this new tool of mine so i put inserts in this bracket and then i insert in this tab on the body and so then this will fit in where this piece goes under the cooler and then on top of this hole so this is my install i think it's a lot cleaner you know obviously you can use the hardware they give you but if you have the means to buy one of those nut cert installers, I say do it, because this is nice. What you're gonna do to route the oil lines, is you're gonna, there's one long one and one short one. The longer one, you're gonna start on the left side because it has to travel all the way across, and the short one starts here, but they should end up at the same exact position. Hose routing. Goes to the driver's side, wraps around, goes right above the radiator hose. Then they come around here. They're going to be a little stiff at first because of the just the bend that they were on. Then they're going to go to the adapter here, which is the next step. I'm also going to put right stuff on this O-ring because I've had them leak here before. So I'm gonna put right stuff around it. So when I smush it and it dries, that seal's not coming off unless you want it to come off. I found it easier to pull the hoses down with the O-ring back here and um, put the slightly bent one on the left, straight one on the right, get it all tightened down. And then now I'm gonna push this back up in through here and then the fittings rotate so now I can just spin this with 
two hands or my strong hand and then put it into place like this and tighten down that center piece. I'm gonna put some Loctite on these inner threads before I tighten this down. The socket I'm using is a one and a sixteenth of an inch. I'm probably supposed to use metric, but this works. Torque this thing down pretty good. Um, I didn't feel like I was gonna break it, so most of you should be just fine. Clean all the surfaces, and then you're gonna put your new oil filter on. Pull this first hose. I had to move the clamp, then take a razor and uh, cut it to get it off. But um, we're bypassing this. Now, the hose sits like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it right before it does this bend. If you're gonna bypass these hoses, do it before you mount the sandwich plate and everything, because then you can actually get in there. So I'm probably gonna just leave that little bit of hose there and that clamp because the clamp's tilted a little too far towards the starter, which makes it almost impossible for me to get to. I'm gonna connect now those two hoses using the two straight edges that I just cut. And I'm just gonna put a coupler in the middle. Here's the coupler I'm using, three quarter inch, four, seven, zero, nine, five. I have both hoses now in line, bypassing the oil factory oil cooler setup. Now, the oil will only be cooled by this, and the oil will not actually be um, heated up by the coolant, which is a higher temperature, right? Depending on your thermostat, this can be higher than the oil, so it'll make it more efficient to do it this way. So I suggest to do this. Try not to cut yourself. Um, and do this before you put the sandwich plate on because otherwise you're going to be struggling like me. With a little bit of trimming, this thing fit perfect. Just had to trim out there, trim out the corner, and then I trimmed out the bottom here so it wasn't rubbing against the core. And now at least this will still work with the bumper. You're gonna add the oil that you lost when you took out the filter, or if you're doing a brand new oil change, then just expect to put roughly half a quart more from the get-go, then you're gonna run it, run it for a little bit, make sure the bubbles are out of the cooler, and on the air pockets are pretty much gone, then you're gonna top it off to the dipstick, however that is, and then in the next couple days you wanna check because you might not get all the bubbles out of the core and then, you know what I mean, you're gonna have your oil level a little low. So just check it over the next couple days that you drive it and you should be all good. So, till next time, wrench on.